Welcome to Basic Brewing Video. I'm James Spencer. I'm Steve Wilkes. We have a guest beer today. We do. <laughs> we was that the peace it? sign? What was that? Well, that was a peace sign. Okay, good. That was, I that thought was you my... do it backwards and it means something else. No, that's a peace sign. <laughs> Just I know that, clar clarifying. I'm not that, that generation. <laughs> oh, yeah. Peace, love, dove, right arm, out of state, <laughs> all that. No, no gas, no, gr no, wait, that's something else. That's something else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have we ever had a guest beer before? We, I don't know. Not on the video show. Or have we? we? Now, we've had homebrews sent to us before, like to, to when we had like our holiday meal. One time we got an oyster stout. So okay. it's not But on, on the video side, we've had, that's what I'm trying. I know right. we have on the audio side. Yeah. Many times. Yeah. Okay. But this is the first. This we've is, never had a canned guest well, beer. Well, a couple of firsts. We've, we had a canned guest beer and we have a video postcard. From our friend Matt Giovanisi in Colorado, I love it. Who has the Brew Cabin uh, YouTube channel and blog? Uh, and I've been working with uh, Matt and with Chris Colby uh, to formulate recipes uh, for uh, the audio side. So we do a recipe development series, mm -hmm. and we, Matt and I, came up with this recipe on the show, and you can hear the that episode. Uh, on how we actually formulated this beer. So, not only did, did Matt uh, brew the beer, but he, uh, and sent us the beer, but he, he's sending us a video postcard to show us how he did it. So take it away, Matt. Hey James, hey Steve, it's Matt from brewcabin.com. And today I wanna to share with you a recipe that James and I developed on Basic Brewing Radio that I'm calling simply Basic Brewing Amber Ale. And I actually brewed this beer myself. I wanna get your thoughts on it, but also I wanna share with you the brewing process and the recipe. So the recipe is as follows. So on my brew days, I start with about nine gallons of water and to that water, I add 4.71 grams of calcium chloride, 4.6 grams of canning salt or kosher salt, 3.4 grams of Epsom salt, and 7.3 grams of gypsum. For the grain bill, we have nine pounds of Maris Otter, one pound of Caramel 60, or Crystal 60, and we have three ounces of pale chocolate malt. I did a single infusion mash at 150 degrees Fahrenheit for about 60 minutes. Then once I transferred it to the boil kettle, I added two ounces of Cascade hops at 60 minutes one ounce of Cascade hops and one ounce of Centennial hops. I chilled it down to about 70 degrees, put it in my fermenter, and then I pitched one packet of Imperial Yeast A07 flagship. And about a week later, packaged it in a keg, served it, and here is the final product. You have some uh, in some cans there that I sent over to you, and I would love to get your thoughts on this beer. Happy brewing and cheers. Is that not cool? That's very cool. <laughs> he's got a fancy system. He's got a, he's very fancy. <laughs> that he can can his own beer. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I actually have tasted this beer before. We tasted it on the audio podcast when we came up with the recipe for our my Belgian wit, mm -hmm. which we're pr I'm probably going to run these out of sequence. We've already tasted in real life, but you'll see the, the video show later of the Belgian wit recipe that uh, that Matt and I came up with. So right. let's, let, I'm thirsty. Let's open it up and, and see what we think. And this has actually been in the can for a few weeks. Um, but I tried one last night and it's still good. It's spoiler. It's beauteous. So I, you know, Matt did most of the work. All we got to do is drink on the show. I love shows like this. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous. Cheers. Cheers. That is a really pretty beer. Mm, it smells really good. Nice head, yeah. good, good, good malt yeah. in the nose. Yeah. It's got, a, it's got a hot presence as well. Wow, that's super good. This could be bigger than the Whispering Steeple in Kansas City. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. But I hope you didn't use Miami. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. And they use Miami. <laughs> and then they use Miami. <laughs> taro, taro. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> it is that season. That's right. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. I, I told Matt mm. that I would pay for that and be very happy. This is a commercial that's level a, beer. Absolutely. So what are you what are you what are you tasting? Uh, on the front end of the of my palate, I get the caramel notes. It, it's it's got a nice little caramel lift. Not as heavy as other examples of this style of beer or say a Bach beer might be something like that that's really pretty caramelly. Mm -hmm. But this has a nice little caramel note and then um, plenty of body, but it finishes really clean. Mm -hmm. it finishes, it's a very refreshing example of this style of beer. Sometimes this style of beer, maybe because it's not made right, I don't know, can be kind of like, now I want something to clean my palate with. Right. This beer cleans my palate. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I don't get, uh, let me do this again before I say anything else. <laughs> I do get a nice hop, there is a nice hop character, mm -hmm. but it's definitely not a hop bomb. I, I no, can't tell not, you it's what. It's not an IPA level of, mm -hmm. which is appropriate for the style. It's Absolutely. got a nice crisp bitterness. Yeah. Uh, I do get some hop character. It's kind of like, it's almost like a dark pale ale. I was going to say, I would even go so far as to say a little bit like a dark caramelly Pilsner. I mean, it's real crisp. Huh. There's a crispness to the... I, I, but but it's, it's a lot more hoppy than a Pilsner. Well, I know, but I, well, I was just trying to... <laughs> what I was trying to, to say is that, you know, in like Bitburger or... I don't know, well, Bitburger just comes to mind. It's just really crisp. It's like it, it, like the hops are very well defined, even mm -hmm. though they don't knock you over. Right. But 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 you really get that that presence of them. Yeah. And that's what I get here. So that's what I meant by that. Yeah, it's delicious. And I think that you know the the malt character is really interesting. You know, he used mm. uh, he used Maris Otter. I convinced him to use Maris Otter because yeah. that just I've just got a Maris thing for Maris Otter <laughs> recently. Who doesn't? Um, but he used a full pound of, of Crystal 60, uh, but it's it's not too sweet. You know, no, I think, it's I think not. the bitterness uh, counteracts that yeah. quite well. And then uh, three ounces of the pale chocolate malt, which is probably is probably more you know for color than than anything yeah, else. Yeah, you wouldn't get a lot of flavor out of that, but you get some. But Cascade and Centennial, um, you know, that's not like you said, it's not a hot bomb, but they are definitely present and. It's just well crafted. There's no, you know, obviously no defects that I can detect. I think it's, a, I think it's a wonderful recipe. I don't know that I would tweak this at all. No, I wouldn't. I'd just buy it. Yeah. <laughs> or brew it. I mean, it's, it's really good. Yeah. Um, and his system looked to be very sophisticated. Very. Yeah. Meaning there's, there's no oxidation in this beer at all. Mm -mm. I mean, it's. No. You know, it's like pulled from the bright tanks at a big brewery. Yeah, and this know? is as fresh as when we first tasted it weeks ago. I, I tasted it uh, on the show. I'd with say him. that's thanks to the can. Well, and the bit. fact that he pr he probably purged with CO two. Yeah. And you know didn't let any oxygen in into uh, his packaging um, because that is a keg fill. It's not you know conditioned. Gotcha. So the, yeah. the, there's no yeast to you know to, right. or to eat sugar and, and take care of oxidation. So go over and mm. by the way, there's a there's a, a video on how um, on how Matt built his homebrew system on his YouTube channel. Oh, his wow. Brew Cabin YouTube channel, and I'll try to remember to put a link. However, they do the links or you know down below or whatever to that channel. Uh, to that video, and it's a very impressive system, and he obviously knows how to use it. He does, indeed. So, congratulations, Matt, and thank you very much for sharing this with us. Yeah. And with all of you. Yeah. I hope, hope. Well, this my beer that I made was not as good, but we'll see. It, it was <laughs> we'll different. We'll see what he thinks. It was different. <laughs> it's a different style. See, it's different. <laughs> all right. Vive la difference. Gesundheit. Gesundheit. <laughs> Happy brewing. <laughs> Come and visit us online at basicbrewing.com. You can find archive lists of our audio and video podcasts on homebrewing. You can also find our DVDs and our brewer's logbook, where you can track and log up to 50 batches of beer. Put the candle back. Put the candle back. <laughs>